Today is a Snakes and Ladders long and short of it for the 21st of September 2009. There's a couple of um, shares, it's uh, quite difficult to find uh, some clear positions at the moment. But if you look at um, Call of Africa, the share has certainly broken away from its uh, previous trading range. If you look at the stochastics, it hasn't quite gone over the 80% mark, but it's heading that way. So it's certainly one that we've got on our watch list for a possible short. Steinhoff is an interesting one. It's um, gone up to uh, 1750 level in previous times and it's pulled all the way back to about 1610 at the moment, which you can see it's just broken through the bottom of the Bollinger Band and broken through the bottom of the Stochastics. And those are normally um, signals that we would look at for going long, especially uh, if the trend on the share is upwards and Steinhoff's short term trend of the share is certainly upwards although it's pulled back here which um, has broken through its previous support level you can see this triangle that's formed over here and from that point of view we think that there's likely to be a turnaround of course sometimes a breakthrough uh, support level like this could indicate a new low so one needs to exercise due caution but we would expect uh, a turnaround because if you look at the various support, there's uh, one level of support, another level of support that comes through here. So 16.10, 16 Rand seems like a pretty good support level. Um, last week we made quite a lot of money on trading um, platinum shares, mostly trading short and occasionally just downside trading. All you need is your trading setup. If you look at um, the previous assessment, we think they had some opportunity in the past to recapture. Now Ned Bank we're looking to Has broken through the top of the Bollinger Band, it's broken through the top of uh, the Stochastic Shares, which is probably the most important one to look at at the moment. So, from that point of view, we had a top of a trend line that was rejected, the bottom of the trend line was rejected. So, any movement above this would indicate that there might be a turnaround in the stock. If it breaks clearly above it, normally it will be only. Back, which is around the same as the soft retail shares. Retail shares also broke up quite nicely in the last week and um, perhaps provides an opportunity to say, well, was a break unreasonable? If you look previously, like the top line on shop right, it's broken above that top line. If you look at the top uh, line on uh, Pretty Pay, it's just broken marginally above that. So our retail shares we would probably be keen to uh, short the stock down. Many people are saying gold presents an opportunity, especially because of the upward movement that we've seen in the gold price in US terms above thousand US dollars. But if you look at the RAND price, we haven't seen quite the same movement. The US price has traded in a certain range and you can see that over the last week, week and a half, maybe two weeks, it's broken above that uh, trading range. But the picture is not quite the same in uh, the, the RAND area. In fact, it's trading right at the bottom of its trading range in RANDs because the RAND has been so strong. So be very careful if you're planning on going long gold because of all the news that you see coming out of um, U.S. newsletters and share stock trading.